So what you're witnessing here is the modern developments that's been happening here in the city. And these are basically banks. There are a few banks here. And you'll also find the Rafiki supermarket, a very interesting this market is, I must say it's very, very clean, well laid out. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and at the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro, the most, one of the most famous mountains in the world, you will find Moshi City. Now Moshi City is actually the capital of the Kilimanjaro region here in northern Tanzania. Jiji La Moshi and is also known as Jiji La Kahawa because it produces some of the most finest coffee in Tanzania and across the world. Beautiful dresses, guys. Really colorful. So we're coming up to Market Road. See, it's quite, quite big actually, and hilly to a certain extent. So this is Setway Investment Company, and this, uh, this is their building, high-rising building. It's around six floors. I don't think the camera will do justice, but literally, in the distance there, while you walk, you can see. beautiful view of the mountains real nice more I like the vibe here Moshi actually you know it's yeah mountainous and it's warm right now I'm sweating very warm and everything seems to be quite orderly here clean I'm liking it good vibe So we're on Market Road right now and from observation similar things that we were seeing on Nyerere near, near Road. A lot of local businesses, a lot of local businesses and of course um, one of the largest tribal groups in the region is the, the Wachaga. And they're known to be very industrious and um, definitely into business. So I'm, I'm seeing the reflection of that here in the city because most of the road I've been on, I'm seeing some type of business happening. Whether it's a shop or people sewing clothing, something is happening. This is Leopard Hotel here. And the thing about these cities in Tanzania, I mean, when, once you come, you can walk around, see the various hotels in the area, and go in and find the price, you know, and you're good to go for the night. I 
they're quite visible. I mean, on every street, you're most likely to find a hotel or a guest house or something, you know. Wow, people love sewing in this region. I'm seeing more seamstresses and a lot of them are women. All of them are seamstresses or women, tailors or men. So we're coming up to the NMB Bank. I guess this is a unfinished apartment block that will be completed in the not distant future. Very interesting again, we're seeing another symbol of the diversity of the various people that chose to make this town or even this region home. Right here we have the Sikh temple of Moshi. And there's some saying from one there from uh, Sri Guru Nanak, the founder of the Sikhism. And let's see what's the message. There's only one God. His name is Truth. The creator without fear, without hate, being beyond time, unborn, self-existent, realized by the grace of the true Guru. So yeah, this is a message here that the Sikhs are promoting. And this is their temple. Interesting thing about when, when you visit... A Sikh temple sometimes during the day you can get a free meal at lunchtime absolutely free that's part of their faith if you're even in London we go to South Hall and so on at a certain time you go there you can get a free meal of course it will be uh, vegetarian because they don't eat meat and you get all type of people go there, you know. You'll have to cover your head. You can wear like a scarf or something like that and you can go in. I'm not sure if they do it at this temple. Most likely they do, but maybe at, at a certain time. This here we're walking up to is the 
Central Police Station here in Moshi. a policeman helping out someone they seem to have a dead battery in their car or something like that Okay, and we're coming up to the Moshi Lutheran Center. And like I told you, in terms of the de denomination of Christianity in the region, you'll find mostly Lutheran and Roman Catholic. They are Pentecostal as well, but Lutheran and Roman Catholic are the dominant ones. So that's the Lutheran Center there. So, so far, guys, I mean, in terms of the faiths we're seeing here in this region, we've seen Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, and Sikhism. Real diverse place. That's nice. They stop and let people cross on the pedestrian crossing there. That's a pedestrian crossing. It's painted with white, white paint. So we're going to take a walk up the Aga Khan Road. Aga Khan is quite famous through uh, the organization is quite famous throughout Africa and ar around the world actually. You will find many Aga Khan schools, Aga Khan hospitals, mosque throughout Tanzania and other parts of East Africa. So this is the Lutheran Church. I see here, Kanisa. Biggest one, I believe, in Moshi Town, the main one. On Sundays, I guess it gets really packed with those who believe the doctrine of that faith. cuckoo shop, chicken shop, that's kind of like uh, butchers. So this road is Mtwa Rindi Line 
And here you'll find, I think, some shopping areas and stuff like that. Real modern touch, some of them. So let's 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 get an inside exclusive view of some of those buildings here. Kilimanjaro cottages. So this is like hotel here. Another bank. I am an N bank. To like a so what you're witnessing here is the modern developments that's been happening here in the city and these are basically banks there are a few banks here and you'll also find the Rafiki supermarket a very interesting name Rafiki means friend in Kiswahili and I'm sure you've heard the name in Lion King so it's the a Rafiki supermarket and of course it will be like your modern standard supermarket where you can get various local and international goods you also have the Azanta Bank Abasa Bank you also have EFTA company that gives equipment loans and stuff like that so these are some of the th things you'll find here so this section here in Moshi symbolizes I guess the diversity in, si in the city in terms of the modern structure and then you have the more colonial looking style side and you also have the traditional markets or Sokoni as they say in Kiswahili Sokoni and this is on the Aga Khan Road here in Moshi City so if you want to find it it's quite sim simple to find border borders come here taxis come here bajajis come here you can see them driving past now and it's literally on the Aga Khan Road. So if you're looking for something with a bit of a modern touch, then you could definitely check out this section here when you come to Moshi. So literally on uh, Market Street, you will find the Sokoku, which is the central market here in Moshi. And a key point of interest, literally, right in front of it is the KPH Hotel literally right opposite the market so really easy to find when you come here so i'll be walking in seeing what it's like checking out the market i mean it seems to be a bit quiet at this time it's after it's 3 20 p.m so a bit quiet people still at work and so on but we'll still see what the market's like twendeni tupopa moja Market is well laid out, a lot of fruits. About the Zenu. So, this is like the outside section of the market. And I'm seeing papayas, bananas, mangoes. Lots of fruits. Like I said to you, the region is quite fertile, fertile soil. And you'll find this in every place from. market is very clean very wide and similar to what we've seen in many of the markets I've been to you'll find things like grains spices clothes vegetables oil this market is I must say it's very very clean well laid out
So this is pretty much the Sokoku here in Moshi. This will be the biggest market and that's like the outdoor market that is and they do have an interior section but you know the traditional looking type of markets this is like the biggest one here in Moshi lots of vegetables fruits grains spices oil all of this can be found here very clean very tidy quite orderly and yeah so this is what you expect to see when you visit here one thing i must say people are a bit more camera shy in this region Maybe that's my experience anyways in comparison to um, Arusha I found people in the markets in Arusha were a bit more willing to talk and willing to get on camera like I had to turn off this the, the stop filming at some point and explain what I was doing and then when I asked if they mind for an interview they weren't really willing to do that so it depends where you go but nevertheless we got an, uh, we got to see what it's like inside and that's the vibe this is another mosque here in Moshi very near to the market a lot of religious centers are dotted around the city Right now I'm outside the Moshi train station and I'm going to take you on a little walk here together. This is an amazing beautiful view of the mountain which is very near the station here in Moshi and I have the opportunity to actually walk by the, uh, the train track so let's do this together. Tupopa Moja. The Usambara Railway was the first railway to be built in what was then known as German East Africa and what is today Tanzania. You are looking at the line that was built in Moshi. The Moshi train station was built in 1911 as part of the first railway in what was then known as German East Africa that composed of Tanzania, Rwanda and Burundi.